Hi, what's up everybody? My name is Paddy from TwistedBud.com. I'm here at EGX Res 2017 in London Tobacco Dock. I'm here with Alistair. Alistair, first time here. What are you looking forward to seeing? Looking forward to getting to the indie games room, sort of looking at the small games, small developers, and hopefully finding the next big game. I'm really excited for it. But I mean, there's a lot of good games coming here, so uh, just looking forward to getting my hands in. All right, let's get in there and let's do this. At the end of the day at EGX Res 2017 down at London Tobacco Docks, you popped your Res Cherry. What did you? I loved it. I mean, the game, a load of different indie games to come like go around. You can actually get in, play them, and then afterwards you can talk to the developers. They're always standing there waiting for you, and you can just ask them all your questions and get to know a lot more about the game, its development process, and then just get a lot of experience. And it was great. So, what games did you see? What really stood out to you as stuff that you're going to remember and take away from the event? I mean, there were lots of games to see, but uh, there were a few that did stand above the rest. Gang Beast, I think um, all of us agree, was one of our favourites. We had a great time playing it. I loved the game, which is just so ridiculous, but perfect at the same time. Um, Mayan Death Robot Arena, I think I got the name right. It's quite, it's, it's a bit of a muddle, but it's a, it's a take on worms. I was talking to the developer, um, two people worked in it, and it was, it's just such a well put together game. A lot of fun, a lot of great couch co-op. Um, yeah, how about you? What do you think stood out? Uh, Gang Beast, definitely. It's one of those games where you, you kind of look at it, you see other people play it, you watch Let's Plays. You're like, it looks fun, it looks really stupid. Like, what's it going to be like to actually play? But it is just hilarious, ridiculous fun. Like, one of the controllers wasn't being used, and actually, in a way, that made it more fun. You had this character just standing there, and that character actually won most of the rounds we were in. So it tells you both how bad we are and also just how ridiculously fun it is. So one game that you picked up and started playing was Serial Cleaner. Did you have any idea what was going on when you started that? No, I mean, there was, uh, I came up to the, the station and it was just, it, the game was already started. So I mean, there was no title screen. It was basically a button mashing process until I whipped out a hoover and I think you suggested that I just start cleaning out the blood. It worked. I mean, it was very, if you liked Party Hard and that sort of game, it was very much a very similar experience, but I, I loved it. I mean, it was collecting bodies, cleaning blood, hiding weapons. It was, yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah, it kind of really came out of, uh, came out of nowhere. A, a game that I think I really enjoyed more than pretty much anything else at the show was Ukulele. I mean, it's not a surprise that's been in the works for a long time. It's coming out in a couple of weeks, I think. Um, first time I played it, and everything about that game is just a huge throwback to what uh, Banjo-Kazooie, what the old Ray used to do, and those games are just so fantastic. Put it on the headphones, and I'm just smiling like an idiot because of the sound design, uh, the character design, everything is just so what those games were and it's, I'm, I'm so happy that that game's almost here it's going to be great yeah I think we took turns just sort of getting lost in the game and sitting down and like just getting taking us back to playing Banjo and Kazooie and Banjo Tooie for all of us who have and it, yeah, it was it was a different game but a very similar experience and a very similar feel so it was something familiar and it was it was just so lovely to get back into that type of game yeah and it's going to introduce a whole new generation hopefully of kids to a game that they never would have played before that, that kind of old school uh, platforming old school uh, game with weird eclectic characters and all sorts of random stuff happening so yeah it should be really good so a game we just uh, played now just uh, in this room was Redeemer I'm just checking on the no I'm just checking on the piece of paper what it's called uh, Violence Awakened um, kind of like a top-down God of War type game you this guy with a bald head and a long beard and you beat the shit out of people I don't know why um, pretty violent pretty visceral it's really fun to play really easy to play um, fun to pick up what do you think yeah, no, I thought it was a really great game. It was, yeah, very, very similar feel to God of War, but not many, not that many quick time events. The only ones you had to do were just to smash people's skulls in, and I mean, we all love doing that, so it's not much of a task. So I think, I think it's a bit of an improvement on sort of God of War. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of that sort of genre, definitely it's just a top down, really easy to play, really easy to pick up. You just go around beating people with your bare fists, sticks, and guns. It's not much to it. So a game that we were also playing uh, was Super Arcade Football really kind of old school football game fun lots of 
tackles, lots of fouls, uh, a bit like sensible, the old sensible soccer games. Um, I was Chelsea, not by choice, and you were Arsenal. Um, I think I won 1-0. Uh, the stats were heavily in my favour, 22 fouls to your 10, two red cards to your 1, and I still got the win. Did you enjoy the game? Yeah, I loved it. I mean, I won the game before that, so I mean, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put that. I didn't lose all of them. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely more red cards than goals. I think we had four red cards over two games and two goals over two games. It was just one of those ridiculous games you could sit down with your friends and play just for hours. And yeah, it just took you back, took you back to those old school games, old school football games where, I mean, there wasn't too much control to it. Not, none of the fancy sort of FIFA stuff we have now, but I mean, it's... It was just pure fun, yeah. like sliding across. You'd miss the ball and you'd hit some another player, get your other player sent off, and chaos is what I'd describe it as, but I loved it. So here we are outside Tobacco Dock, EGX Res 2017. We're gonna do some final thoughts. Alistair, what do you think? I mean, it's it's really good to see and really like uplifting to see a lot of a lot of small indie developers. There's just so many of them. They're all out there. They're all promoting their stuff and they're producing such great content. And a lot of them are focusing on a sort of couch co-op, like split screen. It's that was a, a genre that I was afraid was actually dying out, but it seems these small in, indie developers are bringing it back, and they're doing it in such a great way. I'm I'm happy. It's good to see. Yeah, I think two of the well, two of my favorite games we played were couch co-op games, Gang Beasts and Super Arcade Football. Sitting next to each other, having a laugh, being able to you know have that engagement with people, I think it's it's really great to see. And I think just overall really impressed by you know small teams, just a couple of people making really really amazing games. And you, you're not you're not sure what you're going to get because you know you hear indie festival, but these are really really great games. I mean, quite a lot of them, and it's um, yeah, it's really heartening to see. And also, there's a boat. <laughs> it's all there. So that about does it from us at EGX Res 2017. You can find more content from us at twistedbud.com. We've got game reviews, we've got opinion pieces, we've got news pieces. Yeah, you can also catch the Gold Podcast and Twisted D&D, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Uh, and for basically anything and everything, video games and fun shit, uh, you can find it over twistedbud.com. Uh, from me, Paddy, Alistair, and our tripod Rob behind the camera, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. That's somebody else's outro. I can't say that.